This Tiffany Hinyard story has done something I thought impossible. It's united the left wing and the right wing in one common cause. Stop Tiffany Hinyard. 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 The mayor of Dalton, Illinois. And in this video, I'm going to expose her for who she is. Now, Tiffany Hinyard went on Roland Martin's show, who's a left-wing lunatic, and lied through her teeth. For instance, she said she had absolutely nothing to do with the charity Tiffany Hinyard Cares. Here's what she said. It's a foundation that's not registered, but it has nothing to do with you. Correct. That's true. Okay. That's so true. you're not aware of any of the work that they've done, money that they've raised, anything along those lines? Correct. Now, how do we know that's a lie? Because Tiffany Hinyard says it's a lie. Check it out. Big on as dear to my heart is I'm real big on um, a cancer uh, foundation. I have created Tiffany Hinyard uh, Cares Foundation, and what that entails is helping everybody uh, within the 17 municipalities with services such as uh, well services and resources, such as um, if you need help paying for chemo, radiation, your medicine, your wigs, your um, prosthetic, um, your breasts. Uh, things of that nature, even helping you with housing, because um, I know firsthand how that feels to just not have help um, when my mom had breast cancer. Now she told a whole bunch of lies in that interview, and we're gonna go over them all. I've been covering Tiffany A. Hinyard for uh, months now, and one thing I am shocked to see is that even though Republicans and Democrats fight like cats and dogs, they all agree on one thing: Tiffany A. Hinyard is a disaster. Now this is also true when you move to print media. Check this out on Ground News. They have. Democratic Mayor Hinyard accused of launching police raids against businesses that won't pay the Queen's ransom. And you get how it's covered on the left, center, and right. For comparison, the left-leaning sources are saying Dalton trustees approved resolution for federal investigation of Mayor Tiffany Hinyard. And you have this last one that says U.S. police investigate Super Mayor Tiffany Hinyard for corruption, abuse of power. And then the right-leaning sources make sure they let you know it's a Democratic mayor. The mayor Hinyard accused of launching police raids against businesses that won't pay the Queen's ransom. Now, Ground News is an app and website that allows you to get all the world's news in one place. Now, one thing I also like about Ground News is that you actually get to see who owns the sources. So, for instance, Fox News is part of the Murdoch family. This is Sky News, also part of the Murdoch family. And here, the New York Post was also reporting it. Guess who owns it? The Murdoch family. So it also gives you an idea of who's pushing out a certain narrative or what company owns the sources that are pushing out a certain narrative. Now, if you are interested in Ground News, I have an awesome deal from the people at Ground News. They said, hey, use my link, ground.news forward slash Nate, and you will get 40% off unlimited access to Ground News. That's ground.news forward slash Nate to get the 40% off. Let's get back to the super mayor's interview with Roland Martin. So we'll go over some of the accusations and some of her answers. So let's just jump into it. Right, so, so let's 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 first deal with Dalton. So, sure. uh, your critics say uh, that uh, you have a significant security detail. First of all, how large is your police department uh, in Dalton, uh, and what is your security detail? So, the first question is about the mayor's security detail. Here is the news coverage of that issue. Tonight, Fox 32 investigates Tiffany Henyard's security detail and the massive amount of overtime it is generating for a handful of officers. The officers are paid every two weeks, which without overtime is 80 hours. But when they're put on Henyard's detail, that 80 hours balloons to well over 100 hours, sometimes 200 hours. And in the case of Officer Terry Young last May, 303 hours worked over a two-week period. That resulted in a single paycheck of more than $13,000. In fact, there are 336 hours total in two weeks, meaning Young was not being paid for only 33 hours over that period. But at some point, there would be two officers or three officers. And depending on if there was some type of event, it would be more officers. That's for a town of a little more than 20,000 people that's struggling economically and usually only has a few officers on duty per shift. Collins says Hanyard frequently uses the officers as her personal valets. 
officers would be sent out to run errands to do pickups. And, and the mayor's detail racked up thousands of dollars in travel expenses, accompanying Henyard on her many trips out of town. Why do you need a security detail while you're out of town? Um, who's on the other end of that flight that's going to do harm? So now you've heard the news report. But what does Tiffany Hinyard have to say about the security detail? Uh, your critics say uh, that uh, you have a significant security detail. First of all, how large is your police department uh, in Dalton? Uh, and what is your security detail? So we have about 45 officers in mm -hmm. our village. Um, my security is warranted due to the fact of threats and things of that nature. But what people are not stating is it's in our CBA. That's our collective bargaining agreement. That's our union contract. Now, I stopped it right here because I actually found one of the prior collective bargaining agreements between the police and the village of Dalton. Now, in here on page 15, it talks about town officials protective detail. And here in the section for town officials protective detail, it says the police department shall post the town official protective detail as a special detail at straight time pay only. In other words, the town is saying, we don't want to pay people overtime for doing this. And then it talks about also an emergency situation where you don't have any volunteers and you have to pay overtime, then you can pay overtime. Now I have to note that this says town officials protective detail and not just the mayor's protective detail. So any town official could have a protective detail under this policy. So it come with the seat. That's what people are not saying. I didn't make this up. I didn't just create this and say, I want security. How, how many officers is it? How many officers is what? On, on security detail. Uh, I'm not going to say how many due to the threats of, on my life. So, but, it, but, if it's, but, it, but if it's in your CBA. It is in my CBA. I'm not doing anything wrong. I even went to court due to the fact of people suing me saying I cannot have a security detail. And I won. The judge said I can't have a security detail because it's already in a CBA. Okay. And so... Um, now, this is why, as an interviewer, you have to do a little bit of your homework, because the issue isn't whether she can have the security detail or not. The issue is, is her spending over a million dollars over the security detail budget. So Tiffany Hinyard is saying people are saying that I can't have a security detail, which is not the case. They're saying you can have a security detail, but you don't need a security detail to fly around the country with you. You don't need it 24 seven and you don't need four to five officers to be on that security detail, which if you think about it, four officers is 10% of their department because there's only 45 officers. So that is, should be the follow up question, but Roland Martin, he's not wanting to push back because she is a strong black woman in power. And y'all sitting up here beating and attacking on a black woman that's in power. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. So now if you haven't heard, Dalton has been claiming that there is a $7 million deficit. Now, Tiffany Ahenyard is going to explain to us why there is no deficit and it's all fake news. The city uh, is in a deficit. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the state of the city's finances? So we are in a deficit, but it's not what everybody's claiming it to be. They're going around uh, with false allegations of five million, seven million, eight million. It's all false. Our deficit is two million dollars. Two million dollars. Two million dollars. And uh, what's your annual budget? Our annual budget is thirty million dollars. Three million dollars. Thirty. Thirty million dollars. Right. Yep. And so, how, how did you, what led to that deficit? So it comes from them not paying bills. So say for instance, we have a board meeting and they say, well, we're going to pull this out, pull that out. If they continue to pull bills out later on, what do you have? A deficit because the bills still do. Just like us not paying our mortgage or not paying our light bill. We still owe the money at the end of the month. When you say they, who's they? Uh, the trustees, the board, because okay. the board is the one that votes to pay the bills. This deficit that you have, you're saying that's a result of the trustees not paying the city's bills? Correct. But, but do you have the resources? Yes. To pay, to pay the bills? Yes. So how's your deficit? Because they won't pay the bills. So it's still on our books. Until we release the check and pay the bill, we still count it as a deficit. So Super Mayor Tiffany Hinyard says they do not have a deficit. They actually have the money to pay everything. It's just that the trustees won't pay it. Now, I can show you what Tiffany Hinyard has said is a lie. There is no more money left. And here's how. See, recently, the police cars in Dalton were under threat of being repossessed. More financial turmoil in South Suburban Dalton after a bank says the village failed to make a massive payment. Yeah, the threat now, tow trucks could be arriving soon to repossess some village vehicles. Some of those vehicles being threatened with repossession include Village of Dalton police cruisers and accessories that the village financed back in 2019, much like the one 
right behind me. So now we have a situation where the village trustees have said pay this particular bill. And Hinyard, authorized to pay the bill, didn't pay the bill. Matter of fact, she paid the bill for her own police vehicles, the ones that she uses to get around, but she didn't pay the bill for the other ones, even after the trustees authorized it. Check it out. If the uh, the, the folks in, in Dalton follow all the TV that's gone on in, in the last couple weeks uh, about the uh, um, squad cars and public works vehicles that were on the verge of being repossessed because of a $76,000 payment that was not made, even though this board authorized the payment in May of 2023. But you need to know that the mayor's Tahoe security detail car payments were made every single month. So, so you, and I was on TV saying this, uh, it, it, it is a deadly sin to think that you could have lost six of your police vehicles, and when you lose the vehicles, you lose the police officers too. But she chose to kept, keep her payments on her security detail intact. I, I think that's important for information. So here we have a clear example of the trustees authorizing a bill to be paid. Months ago, Tiffany Hinyard not paying that bill and then complaining that the trustees even though they authorized her to pay the bill, are responsible for her not paying the bill. Yeah, and Rolla Martin is just agreeing with everything she says. Let's talk about a meeting. Uh, your critics say you came dressed up as Nino Brown playing Bitch Better Have My Money. Nobody knows something. Don't know nobody know nothing. Tiffany Henyard certainly isn't shy about attracting attention. Here she is starting a Dalton Village board meeting dressed like the Wesley Snipes character in the movie New Jack City. Later punctuating her political points with the help of her own DJ. Every single resident, pay me what you owe me. Thank you, DJ. Henyard's picture and name adorn virtually every public posting, both from Dalton, where as mayor she makes $46,000 a year, and in Thornton Township, where as the elected supervisor, she collects more than $200,000 a year. Did that happen? Oh, wow. Okay, so let me uh, clear that up so we can understand. I did not come as Nino Brown. I did a scene for Martin. Um, one thing I am, you know, I'm young. So I try to make sure I reach my young vote. You did a scene for Martin where? Martin. Was it at Dalton or Thornton this, Township? This is Dalton. This is all of the village, oh, really. Okay, got it. All the smoke and the heat coming from my mayor or see, but they mixed the two because people don't understand the difference between the uh -huh. two. But I did come as a scene from Martin. I even made fun about it and did a skit and posted it on my TikTok just to show people my sense of humor side because at the end of the day you got to meet the voters where they are so just so we can all get this straight the show martin from back in the 90s was doing a skit based off the movie new jack city where he dressed up martin dressed up as nino brown and the super mayor is also dressing up as nino brown but says that she's actually dressed up as martin who is dressed up as nino brown this is the mayor of this town with this logic and when you just look at the pictures side by side, it's obvious he's dressed as Nino Brown. Now next they're going to talk about Tiffany Hinyard's charity, Tiffany Cares. Let me show you how Tiffany Hinyard has promoted her charity. Big on as dear to my heart is I'm real big on um, a cancer uh, foundation. I have created Tiffany Hinyard uh, Cares Foundation and what that entails is helping everybody uh, within the 17 municipalities with services such as uh, well services and resources such as um, if you need help paying for chemo, radiation, your medicine, your wigs, your um, prosthetic, um, your breasts, uh, things of that nature, even helping you with housing because um, I know firsthand how that feels to just not have help um, when my mom had breast cancer. So I want to make sure that I put that out there to the public and to everybody that it goes to any 17 municipality. It, you cannot live in Chicago uh, to benefit from this foundation. It's strictly for uh, people that live in the 17 communities. Uh, we are doing a cancer walk October 4th and how this room was filled. I will hope you guys will come out for that cause. Uh, we will start right at Food for Less parking lot and we will walk west going across the Unity Bridge and we will walk 15 miles. So anybody that's up for the challenge or that feel they can make it, please show up. You can walk, ride, or drive. And yes, we got uh, bikes, we have motorcycle clubs, we have all kinds of people that is joining us in this uh, movement uh, because you never know when you need this resource as well. So always be about the cause.
just want people to know that, hey, Tiffany Hendrick Cares Foundation is here. We will help anybody in need. Um, it's not only just for Thorn Township, it's not only just for Dalton, but it's for the state of Illinois. So I just want to give them some kind of resources. I know we got uh, Susan G. Coleman, I got that. But you're going to get so many resources from each foundation. But there's no foundation in the state of Illinois moving like we move and shaking, moving like we doing right thing. That's right. right. Now this video that you just saw is on the official Thornton Township YouTube page. And as you can see, it has Tiffany Hinyard wearing the shirts of the charity. Her face is on the van of the charity. She even had the charity get $10,000 from Thornton Township. Our investigation with the Illinois Answers Project found she was using public employees and taxpayer dollars to support the charity, including a $10,000 donation from Thornton Township, where she is supervisor. So now, Let's listen to Tiffany A. Hinyard talk about her charity. So I, I, before, I asked you before we uh, went to the break, I talked about um, the, um, again, this, this charity. Uh, and um, the Illinois Attorney General's office, um, this is what, this is from a uh, CBS affiliate there, uh, says that uh, the accusation comes at the same time the Illinois Attorney General's office told Henry's charity multiple times in recent months to stop improperly soliciting donations because it had not registered with the state as required by law. Uh, and, and you said that's not your charity. Correct. Okay. Um, so were you ever, um, so, that was, so show, show the video here, I'm trying to understand this here. So uh, this is a uh, video um, of, the, of you marching with the charity. So what is this? So what they're not telling you is we literally walked to Springfield to create a bill to help anybody that suffered from cancer, whether it's the village of Dalton, Thorn Township, and then I increased it to the state of Illinois. That's what the whole purpose of it is. But if you had, so there were folks with signs saying Tiffany Hendrick Cares Foundation. Uh -huh. Who was that? What, what do you mean? It's everybody. Everybody was there. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, what is the Tiffany Henyard Cares Foundation? You said it's not affiliated with you at all. Correct. Well, what is it? So someone made up a foundation. They named it after me, and they like my work that I do in the community, and it's called Tiffany Henyard Cares. So we all have, went. Not now, they, but they weren't registered. Have you contacted them and told them you can't use my name improperly? Well, my lawyer's handling a lot of that stuff, so all I can tell you is that I'm not the one on anything. That's the only thing I can tell you right now. So I'm just trying to answer to the best So you're saying there's a, there's a foundation that's not registered, but it has nothing to do with you. Correct. That's true. Okay. So do you believe Tiffany Hinyard, who says she has nothing to do with this charity? Someone just made it up and put her name on it. And just to be clear, the person who just made it up is her employee from Dalton. That's it. That's Keith Freeman sitting next to her at a Dalton meeting where he's the village administrator. Freeman is also an advisor to Thornton Township, and he's the guy listed as the registered agent of Tiffany Henyard's foundation. So Tiffany Henyard is trying to pretend that she knows absolutely nothing about a foundation that has her name on it, that's run by her employees, and where she is organizing all these events and giving them taxpayer money to operate. Yeah. I don't think anybody's gonna buy that. So did Tiffany Hinyard convince you in this interview that she is totally innocent of all of these accusations and that it's just people who are out to get her is what's causing her the pain? Don't forget, like, share, subscribe, do all the great YouTube stuff. And as a special announcement, we will be talking to trustee Jason House, the person who was fighting Tiffany A. Hinyard on the front lines to see what's really happening in Dalton. Don't forget, if you like what you heard, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, do all the great YouTube stuff. My name is Nate Delore, and I'm going to see you in the next one. Peace.